Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn. In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, compatibility mod, the fly-by-wire compatibility mod with LadVFR's brand new A321 Neo. Uh, but I, I did mention this in the LadVFR A321 Neo video. You can check out that video if you want to see a, a review or a, a look around of the aircraft itself. But this video will be specifically on the compatibility mod with the fly-by-water. Uh, what does this do is it rather than the default A320 uh, cockpit being in the uh, A321 from Line VFR, it's actually the fly by wire version. It will give you the uh, EFB SIM brief import, fly by wire cockpit textures, fixes the purple cockpit uh, glass and CTDs, corrects aircraft type in the McDo, uh, fly by wire EXP support. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, known issues, engine parameters are incorrect and not accurate. Uh, fuel flow is incorrect. EFB ground services don't work. EFB won't load accurate fuel for A321. Neo and dispatch overview page isn't fully accurate. So the, this release, pretty much the same day that LADVFR's uh, aircraft released. Um, and then last update is July 10th. But a lot of VFR put out a, uh, an update on Thursday. Today, uh, as of recording, it's like Friday or Friday at midnight. So it's like now like Saturday or something. But this guy here, he's... Uh, I think he, he must be learning to code or something because uh, he, he's actually looking for people that know more than he does to help him out. Um... So, but he's looking to continue to, to work on this. So is Live VFR with, with the aircraft. Uh, taking a look down here in the comment section, uh, someone had asked uh, about, uh, is the fly-by-wire uh, flight model integrated? And he said, no, it isn't at this moment, but that's what they want to do. So we'll see where, where this goes. Hopefully it doesn't get abandoned, you know, three months down the road. Uh, but this is for the PC users, Xbox users. I'm sorry, you, you, you can't get this mod because uh, anything external can't get on your Xbox. Um, so what you do here is you download it. Once it's downloaded, uh, then unzip the file. Then there's a folder. If you click on that folder, it will then open up into, you'll see all a bunch of different files and folders. Don't, don't stay there. Go back to the well, one folder up, take that uh, copy and then paste that into your community folder. And that's all you have to do. And then the, uh, the, the plane once you next load it in, it will then have the uh, fly-by-wire uh, cockpit. With no further to do, I've already downloaded it. I've put it in my community folder. Now let's take a look at the aircraft. All right, so we are now seated in the A321neo from Land VFR, but we now have the uh, fly-by-wire mod. So if we uh, take a look to the uh, to the left here. We now have the fly-by-wire EFB. Uh, so, so I can import SIM brief data and pretty much everything else here. Uh, again, it needs my SIM brief data. I'm not gonna do a flight plan right now, but you can do your pushback, fueling, Performance calculator, uh, Navigraphs, air, VATSIM air traffic control, uh, failures, uh, but yeah, the, the failures will not really happen in this. They, they actually might still work, but really they, they, they should. 
not the same aircraft. Uh, then you got checklists. Well, these checklists are going to be for the A320. If we look here, you've got you, you got several different ECAMs that you didn't have before. Because before you would have um, just in the default uh, A320 uh, cockpit, you've got uh, electrical and I think systems but this you, you have everything that you would have in the uh, fly-by-wire and uh, again this you wouldn't you wouldn't have in the default so if you're an Xbox user sorry to, to be uh, look at this but hey if you're on a PC, this makes it even worse more uh, to, to get. So the uh, aiders, so th this is operational now. Um, there's a few other things up here that would be operational now. Like, again, it's Pretty much, you now have the the fly-by-wire cockpit. As long as the guys or gals developing this compatibility mod keep on going with it and don't abandon the project, and they they keep updating it according to when LandVFR updates the actual aircraft, this is great because now you then have a um, the uh, an Airbus A320, well A321, which is a longer version of the A320, and different flight characteristics, and four variants with uh, two different engines. So to me, um, with this, it makes the um, twenty-five bucks US to buy the Land VFR. A321 Neo, it's, it's like a no-brainer. Even for Xbox, even though you might not have this, access to this, it's still great because it's it's for you as the casual simmer to get out there and to fly something that's different than what you currently have with the A320, the 747, and the 787 if you have the Premium Deluxe on Xbox. But that's it for this video. If you got any uh, questions about this mod, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know, uh, do you have the A321? Uh, and do you have this mod? Uh, let me know in the uh, comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.